I shared with you that at a rate of seven copies per second, 150 million Windows licenses had been sold in the first seven months. That's the fastest, strongest start in the history of any OS. So let me put the 400 million copies of Windows 7 that Steve mentioned earlier into context. That is three times the pace of Windows XP. Today, 27% of the internet runs Windows 7. And at the center of all of this success, all of this momentum, is you, our partners. Partners across the hardware ecosystem, our retail partners who delight consumers every day, ISPs and developers, solution partners, distributors, and resellers. Thank you. We are so grateful for the strong partnership that we have forged, first through the successful launch of Windows 7, and now as we continue on the path of helping our customers deploy Windows 7 across their enterprises. That partnership will be the key to continuing to deliver the value of the Windows 7 PC experience to even more customers and even more desktops in this coming year. So let me share some of the impact you've had on, on customers with your efforts on helping them deploy. Through your work, nearly 90% of customers are committed to Windows 7. Already, a quarter, a full quarter of all desktops are fully deployed on Windows 7. And there's companies like General Motors who are just inches away from 100% deployment across all of their users. That's almost 80,000 desktops. For CIOs and IT professionals, upgrading to Windows 7 means several things. First and perhaps foremost, it means lowering costs. Customers have consistently reported to us and to you that upgrading to Windows 7 has resulted in material cost savings, especially in the areas of PC management and application deployment. Security has been another important benefit and something that companies worry a lot about, especially as workers become more mobile and as workers become more mobile, more devices are lost. Windows 7 reduces this risk. Another Windows 7 capability that our customers often talk about, and I know they talk about this with you, and they prioritize it, is virtualization. When I talked to the team at Ford Motors recently, Eric Karsten there, who's a senior management working on the deployment at Ford, made sure to emphasize that the importance of virtualization in the actual migration process at Ford. And for Ford, virtualization was the deciding factor for moving to Windows 7. At the same time, that's for IT professionals, CIOs, at the same time, Windows 7 end users are happy because they are no longer forced to use a decade-old operating system, old, uninspired hardware, and a dated browser to get their work done. The experience that they know, the experience that they love at home, is now what they have at work. Recently, I had an opportunity to meet with the team at the Dow Chemical Company, and that was their observation. They shared with me that their end users were particularly excited to get brand new PCs as part of the global migration to Windows 7. They were even more excited when they really started to experience the productivity improvements with their new Windows 7 PC. And this was something that Dow specifically measured and care a lot about. And it's really the core Windows 7 features like the ability to pin your favorite apps and your sites, using Taskbar Preview to move between windows and tasks easier and faster, jump lists for a quick view and navigation of all the activities that you're working on, Snap, of course, for multitasking, BitLocker for security, and remote desktop for that mobile work. All of this making the everyday computing experience simple, modern, and secure. One thing that's interesting is we know, um, we have very detailed information and from our usage data, we know that Windows 7 is making a difference in how businesses and how consumers are working, how they're communicating, and really using the software to innovate. Some examples, 86% of Windows 7 users are using Taskbar Preview to easily preview files 
which often includes websites and videos. 71% of customers, users, pin their apps and files to the taskbar so they can easily access them when they need them. 62% of users use Snap to organize their desktop environment around how they work, how they communicate, or how they consume entertainment. Customers on Windows 7, like the Ford Motor Company, Royal Caribbean, Feeding America, the Italian Ministry of Defense, and so many others, include many in education and nonprofit, are using a Windows 7 infrastructure to do both the ordinary and the extraordinary to grow their businesses, to innovate, and to educate the next generation. So together, we're now 20 months into this Windows 7 journey, and the adoption is the highest of any OS in history. I'd like to share with you a few more examples of what this means to some of our customers and how you're making this come to life.